Mr. President, just a few minutes, I'll ask for a unanimous consent to pass my Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. This is a very simple bill, Mr. President, and it should be a non-controversial one. It simply says that a baby born alive after an attempted abortion is entitled to the same protection and medical care that any other newborn baby is entitled to. That's all. It doesn't limit abortion. It doesn't make abortion illegal. It simply states that a baby born alive after an attempted abortion is entitled to medical care. And yet somehow this bill is too much for my Democrat colleagues, Mr. President, somehow saying that a living, breathing baby born alive after an attempted abortion is entitled to Medicare, Medicare, medical care is a step too far. Well, I'd be interested to know exactly what it is that they're afraid of. And I suspect they're afraid that by pointing to the humanity of the born child, they might end up pointing to the humanity of the unborn child. After all, it makes no sense to say that a baby is not a human being a second before birth and is a human being a second after. And so I suspect that Democrats are afraid that recognizing the humanity of a living, breathing, born child in an abortion clinic might end up leading to protection for unborn children. And Democrats are apparently so determined to ensure that the supposed right to kill unborn children is protected, that they're willing to oppose a law to protect born children. It is a tragic measure of their extremism on this issue. And if anyone thinks that abortion isn't a slippery slope, that we can somehow devalue unborn babies' lives while maintaining respect for everyone else's, well, I'm here to tell them differently. Because we're at a point where roughly 50% of the United States Congress opposes protecting the lives of born human beings if they happen to be born alive after an attempted abortion. Mr. President, in a matter of seconds now, one of my Democrat colleagues will object to this legislation. But I hope and pray that this will not be the last word and that one day soon, we will get to a point where legislation like this will not be controversial and where human rights of every human being, born and unborn, will be respected. So, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the Committee on the Judiciary be discharged from further consideration of S-204 and that the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. I further ask consent that the bill be considered read a third time and passed and that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table.